I just got done riding the HD5, Ibis's new version of the HD4. And this is a fantastic bike. I really like it. It's a 27.5 inch tire and gosh, it does everything really well. Um, it's obviously under that enduro category. And two things that they've done to this new bike is they have done complete internal routing where the HD4 had a cable um, or two sticking out here and there. So the new one um, looks just fantastic. They've done a great job. And then one other thing that I really loved about this new bike is they put the new Maxxis Asagai 2.5 tire on there and it is a fantastic tire. It's both front and rear. Before they spec'd it with a 2.6, at least the one that I rode, and I just didn't like how slow they were, how slow they went through corners. This new tire is fantastic. So great job on doing that Ibis. Gosh, it's a, it's a fantastic combination. Um, so I was able to demo this bike directly through Ibis, Ibis demo truck. They came to Salt Cycle and they were nice enough to, to give me a call and let me take this bike out. So if you're in the area, go check out Salt Cycles. Um, they can tell you when the demo truck's coming into town. Uh, I don't know when they're getting their demo fleets of Ibises in, but that's something to go to ask Salt Cycles as well. Um, or just at your local dealer, go find out when they're when they're coming around. Um, you know, we're gonna take out a lot more bikes from, from Salt Cycles and a bunch of other shops. So make sure to, to check us out. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so. We're gonna make sure to get a lot more videos up here. Um, just all different kind of bikes and what our impressions are of these bikes. So starting out, obviously this bike is meant to go downhill. It's a long travel, 170 millimeter in the front, 153 in the rear. So it's definitely meant to go downhill and it does it really well. It corners really fast, um, it goes into the corners fast, comes out of them fast and it's very precise on, on, on what it does. I think that's a combination of the tires and the geometry of this bike. It's a little bit shorter um, of a bike compared to some of the newer enduro bikes. So I, I feel like it's a little bit quicker because of that. And gosh, the suspension, it just handles everything really well. It's 153 in the rear um, and it just blows through everything really, really well. It feels stable no matter what you're doing. If you're going off of jumps, if you're going through chunky sections, they've just done a really good job with the geometry on this bike. I never felt like it got hung up anywhere. I was a little concerned with the 27.5. It's been a, a while since I've ridden one. Uh, I've just been riding a lot of 29ers lately because that's the new trend. Um, but yeah, I, I didn't feel any hesitation with getting hung up anywhere. It just went through everything really, really well. Uh, if you've ever ridden the HD4, it's very similar. And gosh, that was a fantastic bike. This new HD5, is just as good, but just a little bit better. Um, again, a longer fork. The previous HD4 had a 160, this new one has a 170. Um, one of the other things I noticed on it is the rear brake on the HD4, um, you had to put a spacer on there if you wanted a 180 uh, rear rotor. Now it just comes standard with a 180. Th that's something you have to do with a bike this big, I think. So they've done a great job that way. Um, I rode the XT version of this bike and uh, everything on there, was spec great. Um, it had the four piston caliber brakes on there, plenty of stopping power. So they've done a good job specking this bike. Obviously XT is, is well known for its longevity and durability and it handled everything just really well. Um, as far as, you know, what this bike's meant for, you know, it's it does really, really well on everything as far as the downhill goes. I mean, it's it's stable. It's, it's still very playful. I was surprised how playful it was, but it's a very playful bike, both in the trail, like when you're taking your corners, it just, it goes around those corners really well, pops out really well. Um, in the air, it's very agile. I mean, it's a, it's a great bike to just throw around. If you're looking for a, a bike, you know, for a jump park, something like that, that you can throw around, but you still want some of that enduro, this is a fantastic bike to go take a look at. Um, you know, as far as the geometry goes, compared to the HD4, it's very similar. Again, this the head angle is just a little bit slacker. Seat angle is a little bit steeper. It went from 74 to 76. So it's a little steeper. Man, it climbs so well. If, you, if you've ever taken the HD4 out, I was blown away by how well that bike climbed. Obviously, it's not an XC bike, but it's going to get you to the top of the hill with that little extra energy for the important thing, which is the downhill. 
So it, this new HD5 is no different. Um, it handles steep switchbacks. It has a very slack head angle. It's 64.2. So it's, it's a very slack head angle, but it doesn't have that wobble that you get with a lot of bikes. So yeah, no hesitation on the, on the uphill ability of this bike at all. It just rolled really well. And I think that was the tire combination again. I felt like that 2.5 Maxxis tire they put on there is just fantastic. Uh, rolls really well. So yeah, go take this bike out if you're interested in it. Um, you know, go go talk to your local dealer if you're here in Salt Lake. Go check out Salt Cycles. They can let you know if they're if they're getting them into demo or when the new or when the demo truck is coming in. Um, but yeah, if this is on your list, I would highly recommend you go take it out. It is a fun bike to just go rip around on. Very playful yet very stable and very precise. So I, I really enjoyed this bike a lot. Um, if you haven't already, again, subscribe to our channel. We're going to do a bunch of bunch more bike reviews. So keep, uh, keep us on your notifications. Give us a like. Uh, throw any questions you have below. Uh, we'll, we'll make sure to answer them. Thanks.